inside Conor McGregor's $2.7 million house. According to Forbes magazine, Conor McGregor is one of the highest paid athletes in the world. He beats even the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. That means it would not be wrong if you assume that the man is loaded. Naturally, you'd want to know more about him, like where does he live? How big is his house? In this video today, we're going to give you some facts about his $2.7 million house that you may not have known. He calls it the Mac Mansion. The first thing we want you to know is that Connor owns several homes. This doesn't come as a surprise though. First, because he has the money to buy different houses, and second, because he's always regularly in different places. Now, the UFC headquarters are in Las Vegas, so the star finds himself there most of the time. Instead of staying in a hotel room like his counterparts whenever he's there, McGregor decided to lease an expansive home that he nicknamed the Mac Mansion. It has a 50-foot infinity pool. Did you know that the estates of Green Valley home that McGregor rented in 2015 came with a 50-foot infinity pool? As it turns out, this pool played a major role in the star's training for what's now considered the fight that defined his fighting career. Swimming is a relaxing activity for some people. It offers a great way to unwind. It therefore doesn't sound outlandish that the Irishman decided to go all out with his swimming pool. Clearly, the home also doubled up as a place for the fighter, his sparring partners, and his family to relax after working for hours. He's only leased both homes. Did we mention that McGregor has two houses in Las Vegas? Because he does. The thing here is that he doesn't own either of them, mostly because they were more of a place for him to prep for his fighting matches rather than a home. The first house was located in Henderson at a place known as the Estates of Green Valley, and the second one on Sunrise Mountain. The first house was listed for sale in 2017 for $2.9 million. However, it sold for a mere $2.6 million. It features a three-floor elevator. By purchasing or leasing a house, you expect it to have some normal amenities. These are things like a bathroom, a sink, some windows, and a door. Well, normal means something different when it comes to Conor McGregor. Why? Because he couldn't be bothered to take the stairs to reach the top floors of his house. They therefore had to have an elevator that led directly to his bedroom. The house had a back garden golf course. The first house McGregor rented in Henderson had some quality features. That said, its outdoor space didn't match up to his second home in Sunrise Mountain. The most notable feature about the second home is that it came with a chip and putt space with a couple of holes that can be used for golfing. Its garage can accommodate five cars. Connor has expensive designer stuff and even owns a clothing line. That means that he doesn't skimp on spending his money on the good things in life. Of course, cars are not exempted here. Even though he doesn't spend most of his time in Las Vegas, he does rock up to training sessions and fights in different BMWs, Lamborghinis, and Range Rovers. Therefore, although he may be unable to fit a boat in his Las Vegas home, he has a garage that can comfortably accommodate five cars. That should be enough to park his big toys whenever he's in town, don't you think? It has six huge bedrooms. When you see Conor McGregor in the ring fighting, it's easy to think that he's all there is to his success, but nothing could be further from the truth. The star has a team of nutritionists, sparring partners, and coaches. Sometimes his family does visit, and when they do, there has to be space for them. The Mac Mansion has six massive bedrooms, all of which have an ensuite bathroom, and if that's not enough, the Henderson house had another four bathrooms in addition to the six. His homes have to occupy five-digit square footage. If you're a fan of Connor, then you know that he has a larger-than-life personality. He has an entourage and millions of fans. That means that his house needs to be spacious and have privacy. His Henderson home only measured 11,460 square feet, but his next home on Sunrise Mountain was a bit bigger. It was in its own gated compound sitting on 1.5 acres. That translates to a whopping 65,340 square feet. The home has a game room, a sauna, and a gym. McGregor is a sports person, so the home that he has would have to have the amenities for working out wherever he is. It's no wonder, then, that his Las Vegas home doubles up as a fitness center. You need to keep in mind that both his homes in Vegas had more than ample space and equipment for full workouts. After working out, the star needs to relax, so there's a sauna for that. There's also a game room where he challenges his friends to pool, video games, and darts. He's a sucker for outdoor dining. Conor McGregor's second home came with way more lounge seating compared to his first one. However, both houses featured an extraordinary outdoor dining setup. You can expect to see outdoor fridges, extensive barbecues, and enough space to sit on outdoor couches and lounge by the pool. The home has a waterfall and spa. 
You've probably never participated in a training camp for an upcoming boxing or fighting competition, but we're sure you can imagine the pressure and strain it can put on the body of whoever does. It's therefore great that McGregor and his sparring partners could get to relax after such rigorous activity because his home has a spa that can accommodate up to 10 people. There's also a waterfall to help in relaxing the mind as well as set the right ambiance and mood. McGregor currently prefers Vegas hotel penthouse suites. McGregor's first abode was listed for sale in 2017, while the second one is still available for him. Nevertheless, the second home is something that he reportedly avoided before his stint with Floyd Mayweather. Rumors have it that the star has been growing tired of leasing properties and he would now rather stay at the exquisite penthouses in Las Vegas hotels. Quick facts about the Mack Mansion. Let's recap what there is to know about the Mack Mansion, shall we? It's located in a high-profile spot in Las Vegas that accommodates equally high-profile celebrities. Because of that, it's situated in a gated community with security manning the area 24-7. Connor has invited the media to tour the home several times despite that. Although he nicknamed the house Mac Mansion, realtors have a different name for it, which is Via the Soleil. The property has unobstructed views of the nearby mountains and the ever-busy Las Vegas streets through any of its numerous balconies. Its grand foyer opens to indestructible travertine floors in a spacious open floor plan. There are waterfalls, comfort ceilings, as well as a massive kitchen with ample counter space. This is where the star's nutritionist prepares the meals that help him get ready for the ring. Next to that is an equally huge living room that comes complete with a fireplace. This is where Connor and his team like to spend their downtime. The home also has a state-of-the-art gym and sauna. In the backyard, you get fire pits, patios, and waterfalls. However, the highlight has to be the expansive pool with a jacuzzi. You'll also spot a huge barbecue while standing in the area, which makes the perfect location for backyard parties. Don't even get us started on the outdoor fridge that offers added convenience for outdoor cooking and dining. The star also has a massage table outdoors where his masseuse makes frequent house calls to help him relax before and after his fights. Inside the Mac Mansion, there's a game room where Connor and his friends get to switch their minds from training. There's a huge flat screen TV for sports and video games, as well as a poker table and a pool table. The game room looks like a lot of fun, but it's not the star's favorite part of the house. His favorite part of the residence would have to be the three-floor elevator that opens up to his bedroom. Are you now aware of something new about the fighting star? What do you think about his lifestyle? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.